Hello everyone, and welcome to this Sessions in Place, where today we are in the comforts of my apartment in uh, Hiawatha. It is a part of Seattle, so know it, love it. It's called Hiawatha Lofts. Anywho, today is actually the 27th episode of Sessions in Place. So rejoice in that fact. And we had our six month anniversary last Saturday. So this thing right here that you can kind of see says Sessions in Place six month. That's from Brent James Driscoll. I appreciate Brent for getting such things. Um, Sessions in Place is a socially distant concert series that's held every Saturday. And sometimes we start at seven, sometimes start at eight. Just depends on how we're feeling. We're on Facebook and YouTube. So choose your own adventure. If you actually want higher quality, you can watch it on YouTube. It's 1080p and all that fun stuff. But if you're already watching on Facebook and you're comfortable there, just stay there. Um, we also have an Instagram and we ask that you at home, why don't you follow us on this journey? Try it out, you know? Um, it's a fun time and we post a uh, BTS photos uh, behind the scenes photos on Tuesdays and then we post our first remaster on Instagram on Wednesday so look forward to one of these songs which are going to be remastered and put out on Instagram next Wednesday um, if you could subscribe to us on YouTube uh, you'll stay up to date on all of the news that we have and all of the remasters that we put up on our YouTube um, easy way to find all the links of all these things that I just said is on our Instagram in our bio we have a link tree there and you can just go there and click on all the things um, we ask that you at home the stream link the Facebook or YouTube you can go onto your social media timeline post it on there so that more people can find out about this it's a beautiful thing and more people should know about it um, and then if you're on Instagram, we ask that you take a picture or a video of yourself and then post it onto your Instagram stories and then tag Erica Lundahl Music and Sessions in Place. And then us here can see how it, you at home are watching it. Another opportunity is that if you have any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, any of the above, um, just put them in the chat and Erica is here today and we'll actually be able to voice those questions, throw those comments and compliments her way and talk about it. And we're basically just gonna have a conversation, just hang out in my apartment and watch her videos, which is gonna be a great time. So grab a glass of whatever's helping you cope and let's enjoy Erica Lundahl together. We are all dreamers and feelers and medicine healers. We carve lessons into each other's hands and taste rosemary on our tongues of remembrance as we render again and again meanness into mending, mending into meaning that we give words to. And we give those lessons as tokens from the beyond, wisdom held within as I am held by you and you and you. You with your slow, savory touch you with your hues of gold, serpentine light, cresting earth's great girth to bend to me now. My lips, my hips, my body, lithe and in love with what is and what will be. Seeing all futures and choosing to be here. To be present and grateful for the ones that came before, rowing oars that bore forward so many histories. Choosing to be in my body each and every day. This is the most precious gift that I can give to you, my family. To the ones that chose me and the ones that keep me so heavenly. How do I love you so fiercely? I know the answer already. 
It lives within the hearth of my heart, keeping faith and time warm, taking fate to task as I summon the courage to claim my power, blessing each hour. All is not lost. We're still here. We still have this, this. So trust in this, in each messy, blessed offering, in this the fist that may one day open like petals to bloom brown and fade under the loving gaze of sunlight and springtime, trusting that all things fall and fall apart and fade. And in the good morning and goodbye kisses that punctuate this thing called living like candle winks in windows whispering, whisper with me this. I am in the right place. I am in the right time. I am with the right you, babe. We got this. And that was Erica right there, um, setting the mood of the entire evening from last Saturday. That was your first time watching that, right? Yeah, yeah, that was my first time watching How it. How about that? I like keeping it like a little surprise. <laughs> and also, this whole thing is like a surprise because we've never done this format before. So thank you for being flexible <laughs> in this. <laughs> so uh, this is cool. Um, I'm enjoying this th so far, and it's it just started. So I hope that we can continue <laughs> to do that. Um, and I, I, one of the things that I, I was thinking about, especially when I was watching that, um, I do know that you're a poet, obviously, um, but going right into a question, here we go. Um, for you, what came first, songwriting or poetry? Oh, gosh. And what would you say you pride yourself more in? Oh, man. You know, I and think... And... No, <laughs> <laughs> you have another question? No. Uh, you know, I think they go hand in hand, I really do. Um, I probably started writing poems about the same time that I started picking up the guitar around 14 or so. Um, I took Brett Godfrey's intro to guitar class. Ooh. Yeah. Shout out um, Brett. <laughs> Learned like smoke on the water and, you know, um, um, how many roads must a man walk down and, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, but, but I, you know, I would take poems or songs that I really loved and I'd start to try and learn them, but then I would find myself um, replacing the words with words I liked better <laughs> 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 or words that were more relevant to my immediate life. And, and so, you know, a lot of my early songs just were uh, just knockoffs, um, like syllable for syllable, not word for word, but syllable for syllable from songs that I loved by... Um, you know, um, Paul Simon or Ani DeFranco or Queen. Loved Queen yeah. so much. Queen is a poet. Freddie Mercury is like a hero. Um, and my music sounds nothing like <laughs> Freddie Mercury at all. But you know, that's 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 the way inspiration works. You know, it's a it's a it's a mercurial thing. Like where a we Freddie Mercurial <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did that on purpose. Oh dang it. Yeah, no. I'm slow here, people. <laughs> Anywho, um, okay. So now, when it comes to pride, if you can showcase pride, mm. um, what would you say your songwriting style or songwriting in general versus your poetry? Because I think you're fantastic at both, and I also thought it was really cool to start out the night of your set with poetry because mm. i also know that when you performed here because mm -hmm. erica has performed exactly where she is right <laughs> now uh at a thing that it was called sit down and quiet and just be um she performed there and you started with poetry as well i started with that same poem you know um that's the that poem's the first poem on my upcoming album uh daughter you're a storyteller and um it's just the raw language you know that that poem came to me very fiercely and all at once um, a little over a year ago um, after taking a long walk with uh, with my good friend Kevin. Um, shout out to Kevin if he happens to be watching. Um, and we just took this long walk through South Seattle um, and um, 
at one point, you know, um, we just kept stumbling upon um, rosemary bush after rosemary bush. And rosemary is like one of these magical um, substances created by our great universe that, um, you know, I think has a very potent ability to help us remember things. Um, and Relax and remember. Um, and, and that poem for me is, is very much about, it's like a gift to both my present and future self um, as a a um, remembrance of all the people that came before that made me you know my my ancestors my my family you know it's it's uh, it, it's a um, it's a gift it was a gift to myself of saying you're not alone and you're not even you you are a whole parade of of humanity that that uh that came about to to make this moment possible that's beautiful i love that and you've received the gift well <laughs> you know i i um i recite that poem to myself all the time um like a <laughs> mantra <Is laughs> <it? laughs> little right. parts of it you know um particularly the last four lines um i'm in the right place i am in the right time i'm with the right you you know, we got this. And it's a kind of statement of agency and a belief that if you are here, um, then you're the right person for the right task at the right time. And um, no one can make this world, but but you and I doing it together. Exactly, exactly. Um, now, uh, I, wanna, I wanna get into some music too, obviously. Um, Cause this next bit that we're about to show is two songs um it's no bullet here and will you take a walk with me um curiosity here uh at no bullet here and maybe if you could just give a a brief synopsis of inspiration um for no bullet here and then i'll ask you for will you take a walk with me as well well um you know the title of my my upcoming album, Daughter, You're a Storyteller, is embedded into this this song, No Bullet Cure. And um, it's, um, it's a song of um, walking through challenges, I think, of walking through darkness a little bit um, in order to um, claim your voice. And that's a little bit of what the song's about. Nice little sprinkling of what that's going to sound like um and then what about for will you take a walk with me <laughs> you know that's one of my newest songs that i've written it uh just has come over the last few months um it's a it's a covid song for sure just um will you take a walk with me is like the question we all seem to be asking each other i think that um, and we have to ask it so gently, right? Because everyone's in a different moment and a different place in this time with safety and health. And, um, and so um, that was the, it's the kind of the kernel of the, the chorus. And then the, um, the song sort of meanders back through, through time and space of imagining who we were before we were humans and then also kind of like all these little intimate moments that that um, bring us closer together or closer to ourselves. And so I guess the will you take a walk of me is, um, yeah, it's just an invitation. Well, let's, uh, let's get right into it. And we'll, we'll take a walk with you. But before that, we're going to do No Bullet Here. So stay tuned. And we're going to do this video right now. What a beautiful thing this is. Uh, this next song is uh, No Bullet Cure. Lean me up against a wall, do not let me falter, let me fall away. I've been a graceful dancer in ballets of gratitude, but not today, not today, not today. I'm in no mood. Make haste to the nursery of true resiliency. In the thicket, there's a pharmacy. You gotta know what to look for, and they're looking so tricky. 
I tried out different medicine to keep my head above my chin. But still my soul feels meek, I've yet to speak the words, mercy, compassion. I fought like hell with the angels, I held the anchor with the sail. You can try again, try again, try again in the morning. But there's no bullet cure, no bullet cure, no bullet cure. There's no bullet cure, no bullet cure, no bullet cure. She said, You never, 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 never turn your back on the ocean. Swimming as sure as they are for flying And nothing is as sacred as dirt in your hand If you're a farmer dying Oh daughter, you're a storyteller Daughter, embrace your power Daughter, daughter, daughter Attracted bees that stung, and now I'm making meaning from the pains of growing. I read up all the books I owned, planted trees where my sisters had fallen. Now I'm trying my heart at some honest communication, and I'm trying my lungs at those sacred words. Mercy, compassion, mercy, mercy, compassion. You know you never, 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 never turn your back on the ocean. And you never, 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 never say never. All feathers are for swimming as much as they are. And nothing is a secret as dirt in your hand if you're a farmer dying. Daughter, you're a storyteller. Daughter, embrace your power. Daughter, daughter, daughter. This song's called Will You Take a Walk With Me? The world as we know it is taking off its clothes Exposing frozen skeletons, forgotten skulls of elephants. It's a symphony of decomposing memories. So ancient, I'm learning to be patient. Will you take a walk with me? I can wait. Life-giving deed. 
And I'm trying to be brave, go forth with all the gifts she gave to me, be the ancestor. I am here to be each one of us plants a seed. The answers in the question on the breeze. Each one of us plants a seed. Will you take a walk with me? And I did injure a man I love while clawing out the stars above to tell me who I should be. Damage done, nothing more that I can do, but let time do what it will to do and walk the earth gently. It's nice to be able to do this where, you know, we can communicate and watch this and be involved and watch this because, like, when, and, I mean, you were there as well as myself. <laughs> just now? Uh, just, <laughs> no, just now, <laughs> and when we filmed it. Um, it's, it's hard to be present, mm. you know, in that, in mm. that scenario. Mm -hmm. um, I did previously get into this rhythm where... After the session, after we loaded out, I would come home, smoke a joint, <laughs> and then I would watch the session. Mm. And it, it gave me this different point of view, different perspective, because, mm -hmm. you know, you're just very involved in it. Um, but, yeah, and it's, it's also really cool to see you watch this for the first time um, and just, like, I, I love seeing that and hearing that commentary just from from your mouth. I'm <laughs> just like, yes! <laughs> it's like a shot of the uh, the dingling lights and flowing right into you. Y'all did such a beautiful job. I am floored. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, it's quite a, a crazy team that we have put together. Um, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. Uh... We have a Venmo. Um, you can find that Venmo by going to Venmo and typing in sessions in place. Um, we're actually one person that donates on Venmo. We're going to pick, and you're going to receive all of these items here that Erica has kindly brought. One is this one. You can't really tell what that says, but whatever. Um, this is a download card for Right Back At You. And then from Animals of Grace, uh, which was uh, a group that you were in, mm -hmm. um, you'll get this as well. And then another one from Animals of Grace right there. That's all um, poems of Edna St. Vincent Millay set to music. Oh, that's so good. And then you'll also 
get this extra large shirt. <laughs> That's some um, um, album art, or um, just art by Heather Elder. She's a local artist in Seattle. Ooh, thank you, Heather Elder. Heather Elder. I don't know why that was difficult for me to say. Anyways, um, so we got through our first block of music and it was gorgeous. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I was also <laughs> going off on these other notes. Sorry, I'm scatterbrained. Um, so Venmo exists. We ask that you donate at least $5, but you can donate many, many more than that if you are financially able. We also have a Patreon that you can go on to patreon.com slash sessions in place and you'll see that we have three tiers a five ten and twenty dollar a month tiers um you know choose your own adventure click a tier and and join us on this endeavor to make live music live again we have currently eight people to thank for being patreon patrons that's tina jones hugh lee ebba lukender kevin schlatter anna Yam Borsik, saying that name wrong. Um, Aunt Carla and Uncle Bear, my Aunt Carla and Uncle Bear. Michael Kugler and my mom, Pamela Love. And huge shout outs to our sponsors as well. Um, R90, of course, uh, the lighting that you guys provide us from week to week to really make these sessions look just spectacular. Um, you need a burger for providing us meals each time that. We are together as a crew, um, and also the artists get food as well. It's a it's a great time or a great ability to you know just have a meal together, spatially apart and safe and all that. Um, also, Guayaki, right here, uh, Yerba Mates. They have become a, a recent sponsor of ours and. Thank you guys so much. They really make me go, and I appreciate that. Um, today, like I said, we're at my apartment, um, AKA SIP HQ, um, and obviously we're with Erica. So those are the notes that I intended to say. Well done, Thank well you. done. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, so moving forward, let's... So we're looking at people are divine um and what when you say people are divine what does that mean for you what does that mean to you oh <laughs> you know it means different things in different moments but um i believe i believe that um there's a lot of magic here on earth and a lot of magic in each of us and uh a lot of very um sacred potential um and that we we each have such dreams for what we want our lives to be and how we want to connect and how we want to love um, and um, such resiliency. We are really powerful creatures for recreation and r renovation and um, renewal. You know, at the end of the day, we, we try again. We try so many times to connect and to... Um, to find ways to thrive in an ever-changing world and so that song um, is is about trying again. It's about um, summoning the bravery to try um, try anything again. Mm. Persistence. I mean, yeah, it's. I think having the the staying power and the persistence is is what we all should strive for, um, and. I also believe that people are divine. It's, it's a, it is a, a nice thing to realize and say out loud. Um, and that I also, you, you said something and it reminded me of the opportunity to ask, you know, <laughs> how are you doing in this crazy time <laughs> that we're in? Um, and oh. it's because typically what we do is we have the artist create a pre-recorded video that they sent in and it's basically them talking about how they're doing during COVID. And you know, what better way to do that than actually have this person live and say it with their own mouth <laughs> live yeah, on the internet. Um, so yeah, I, I guess big question is how are you doing 
um, with all this shit storm of fuckery that's happening. <laughs> um, you know, obviously COVID, but obviously politics and all that. Um, uh. Just... You know, I'm just trying to take it day by day. Um, step by step. Step by step. Um, one of my favorite little union songs um, it was this coal miner song that has been taken and used in many of our movements. And the words are, step by step, the longest march can be won. Many stones can form an arch, singly none. And by union, what we will may be accomplished still. Drops of water turn the mill, singly none, singly none. Um, <laughs> how does that relate to how I'm doing right now? Um, it is a statement of purpose and mm. a statement of, um, hope and action, I guess. Um, yeah, some days are really friggin' hard. Um, I miss the people I love. I miss being able to hold them. I miss being able to touch, yeah. um, other humans, um, but I think that loneliness and that the poignancy of that um, is a teacher as well. And um, um, so I've just been trying to sit with that teacher, I guess, because we're all going to come out of this very different than we were in February 2020. Um in so many ways. And I know now we're looking forward, at not just, you know, through the lens of the virus, but through the lens of our, um, you know, incredibly polarized politics. And um, and the common thread, I think, is that we need to find ways to connect with each other and ways to um, override these systems that we're living in of capitalism of uh, like really fractured sense of self through our social media in order to see each other again and to see that the basics of what we want um, healthy families healthy homes clean water you know uh, good food for everyone um, these are all the same things um, yeah so you're existing during COVID, and <laughs> 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 that's what I, that's what I'm here. I mean, when I, I, I drink a lot of tea. Yeah. Like in the morning, I wake up, I drink like many cups of tea, try to ground. Uh, you know, I was reading a lot of news. I I watched this thing with Rebecca Solnit the other day. This um, wonderful um, web event. She's one of my favorite authors, and she did this event. And she said, you know, we all have about as much information as we need about this coming election um, to make up our minds. And so now we just like uh, maybe we don't need to take in as much news in order to still do what we need to do. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> take a break on the news. Take a break. Just just go put it, go put take it a down. fucking walk. Just yeah. go outside. Take a walk with me. You yeah. Know? She's offering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like, actually, the, the three questions that I ask every artist that has performed with us um, that they put into that um, video mm -hmm. that they do are, so we'd hit the first one. Um, the second one is your thought on creative process during this time. Mm. Has it changed? Mm -hmm. You know, w what's, what's, how, how is it? How is your creative process? You know, music making has become a really primary form of self-soothing for me during this time. Um, I, you know, used to play shows in front of other humans. Um, that was nice. I hope to do oh, that the again. Good old days. <laughs> this is pretty close. I love this. Um, but you know, now really the music has just become a way to process what feels like a daunting amount of information that is being thrown at us, mm. and and to uh, escape escape language itself sometimes just playing the guitar um or playing the piano i love to improvise on the piano and just to 
you know, get away from words for a minute and just let your body take over. Um, and I think like being in our bodies is like the most important thing we can do. Um, yes. Yeah, no, it's uh, what that's saying to me is with COVID, you have been able to become more present. Mm. <laughs> well, that's the aspiration. That's the aspiration. That's, that's, that's the, the hope. Goal. That's the hope. <laughs> Well, I mean, those are words to live by. I think we should all become more present, uh, realize what's in front of our faces, and like we said earlier, stop watching the fucking news. Um, and then, like, how are you staying connected with these, with your friends? Um, like, wh what's that look like right now? Mm. Um, walks. Um, and, you know, I think I've always been a, like a fairly verbose texter and I think now <laughs> it's just <laughs> gone overboard. So I was like, how are you doing? Are you holding up? It's like, do you want the 500 word essay? Cause yeah. I'll send it to are you, you all. The, are you the type of texter that's <laughs> line by line or is it a. <laughs> no, it's one big block. Okay. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I apologize to everyone. I don't know. I want to write more letters, you know, um. I have friends that are beautiful letter writers and, and I've been reading uh, um, Pete Seeger's like collected writings right now and it's just so many of these like gorgeous letters and and I think that's my that's maybe a 2020 goal is to like just connect with people in whole whole thoughts um, as these little gifts of, of um, you know just giving someone the 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 gift of your your experience through told through your words yeah and i think through the the written language and from it it's it's almost like when i think of letter writing or just maybe book writing in general or just writing in general rather um it's very much like the the ability of saying something without being interrupted like your your mm -hmm. full complete mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. and then handing that off to someone and then they take it in and then however whatever they do they do yeah that's cool i think it's like an antidote to the kind of very fractured way that we intake information in like the scroll world or the swipe world you know right the multi-gesture <laughs> world that we live in <laughs> 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 oh my gosh um well so our next block of songs uh so we started talking about people are divine um and speaking of people children are people and the song after that is dreams are children <laughs> so uh -huh. i see that i see, the see that connection i see the thread there it wow. was almost a reach but it, you did it you I you I it. did something with it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so you want to talk a little bit about Dreams Are Children? Uh, Dreams Are Children is another new song. And it's about seeing your dreams and, um, and giving them the time of day. I think that I've spent a lot of my life, particularly maybe my adult life, um, uh, running away from those little kernels of aspiration or dream, um, finding reasons to say no, um, um, finding reasons to say that's uh, that's impractical. You don't want to tour the country in your finding electric escape routes. guitar. <laughs> yeah, or your car. Yeah, it's like there's a million reasons to say no to something. Um, you can always find one, but I am I that that this song dreams are children is a bit of a call to arms for myself to find the yes way mm. Mm. well let's find out but first obviously we're going to find out that people are divine and then we're going to find out about the yes way <laughs> here we go Try 
for freedom, joy, or mercy, God speed your loving.
and we're back. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and we're rolling. Um, so I, I, I see that it's going. So I think that it's going. Seeing and believing are two things. Um, Carlos Mar Marquez, Mar Mar Marquez Carlos. Marquez says you're back. And <laughs> so I'll take that as yes. true. Um, <laughs> wow, that was a, a Hi, fun. Carlos. Hi, Carlos. So we were just in the uh, the time of me spouting off what people are saying online, and then the internet must have known that we were talking about it because mm. it just it just shut us down. Mm. But we're back. It can only suppress this voice for so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna make sure that Facebook is back too. I don't know if it is. I think Facebook is a little bit more of a butt. But you know what? That's fine. The internet's just so vain. It is. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna take a second and just mm -hmm. let's see here. This live video has ended. You're a liar. Let's try. Let's see if we can go. We're in. still here. We, we are still, We're here. still here. This is really probably <laughs> very interesting for the people on YouTube to be watching right now. Um, coming for you yeah facebook <laughs> <laughs> no we're facebook gonna, we're gonna behind. get to you we're gonna get to you <laughs> oh man oh. live dashboard we're gonna pull you out of the well um i'm just gonna text uh austin and say hey can you make the facebook start austin i i wish I wish that he was watching right now and he just, on YouTube, figured out, oh, I should also start this Facebook stream. Um, can you see if you can start the FB stream? We were all wondering what you were texting. It so. stopped, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so I have now, I'm washing my hands of this. We are moving on. <laughs> uh, we don't need to we don't talk need about Facebook. No. Yeah. Facebook. They they're just a bunch of buggers. Um, so I was talking about what people were saying. Mm -hmm. Then we got distracted. Yeah. I got distracted, mm -hmm. and then the internet broke. But now we're back, and now I'm gonna say the things. Um, we had. Carlos. Also, he gave two emojis oh, uh, with two. Hearts, hearts in the eyeballs. Wow. Thank you, Carlos. Um, jo Joanna, Johanna. Uh huh. Beautiful and with a rose. Oh, that's my sister. Thank you, sis. Hi. You're great. Um, I just want to remind you people at home that if you really, really like what you're seeing here, there is a Venmo. You can go on Venmo and type in sessions in place and throw us a few dollars. Five dollars is what we ask, but you can throw more than that. We also have a Patreon. Um, you can find us by sessions in place. We have three tiers, five, ten, and twenty dollars a month. And I want to remind you too that we are on all the social medias. Um, so on YouTube, subscribe to us. We're almost at 300 subscribers. We might we might get there by the end of this. We're at 298. Whoa. Two to go. Two to go. If so you haven't subscribed, do it now. Yeah. Just one button. 
This is we, such an we'll awesome wait. series. <laughs> 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 but not not for Facebook, just for you. Yeah, yeah. just for you. You <laughs> right there. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we, we are on all the social medias. Uh, we're on Instagram as well. We have a posting schedule of putting out uh, behind the scenes photos on Tuesday and then a remastered on um, Wednesday. So look out for that. It's some beautiful stuff. And um, if you're on Instagram, we ask that, you know, we want to see how you're watching this uh, happen in your living room or on your phone or whatever. But if you could take a picture of yourself or a video of yourself and then post that on your stories and then tag at Erica Lundahl Music and at Sessions in Place so that we can see how you're watching it. I think it's a great perspective. Yeah, please do. Yeah. We we also like to... We'll oh. Austin just texted me back. Uh, <laughs> he said we'd have to start a new post. Anyways, we're not talking about Facebook anymore. We're done with Facebook. Um, we are here in my apartment at Hiawatha Lofts, and we're having a conversation in between the times of video that we filmed at Fremont Abbey just last Saturday. And I'm here with Erica, obviously. She's right there. And we're just hanging out and shooting the shit. And we, we really had no agenda. No, we're just here. Just existing. We're being present. <laughs> Practicing presence. Anywho. Um, so... Um, hey, how about you? You give a topic and we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Flipping the script. Oh, dear. You know, um, I, you know, I was going to say that the um, November's coming up, so you should vote. And um, if you don't have your ballot, you can track your ballot at votesaveamerica.com. And um, if you're excited, you know, voting is great. It's like brushing your teeth, right? Like you do that. I love the saying voting is a chess move, not a love letter. Mm. You know, we got to do it in order to create the conditions by which we can make the world we want. And um, so vote, tell your friends to vote. If you're really excited about participating and get out the vote, um, you can do it with some awesome groups like Environmental Voter Project, and then they set you up to call like North Carolina voters or Florida voters who um, might not be getting the information that they need in order to get their ballots in time. And you know, um, voter access is like an enormous issue that we can all help support, and it's actually really fun. Um, I think to make calls to strangers with really beautiful southern accents and um and like tell them where they can get their ballot information it's like it just broadens your horizons a little bit and reminds you like what a big big country we live in and how we're still all connected yeah and finding those things that connect us and not tear us apart that's the that's the thing right there mm -hmm. Unity and community, people. Unity and community. Um, you know, I want to I wanna delay this last video just a bit because it's the last one. Mm, mm -hmm. um, it is uh, with Carol Moon, which was my favorite from the set, and Ross Silver. Um, I don't even know what the word Carol means. Mm. Can, you, can you enlighten me? <laughs> yeah, Carol Caro is... Um it's like a little bit of a trickster or um, um, a kind of like a fool's. I don't know that a caro moon is an actual thing, but um, caro, we could Google it to get the exact definition. But my understanding, you know, I kind of the word came to me when I was starting to write this song and it felt right. And I wasn't quite sure why. And I looked up like what caro meant. And it was like um, this. Um, it was like a little bit of um shades of uncertainty mixed with um that um sense of like a a tricksterly presence um 
or a um, maybe trickster isn't even the right word. Oh God, <laughs> you're gonna have to figure out what the song means. Um, <laughs> but you know, um, mystery, the the things that are able to be said when there are or not said. You know, when when um, what are the conditions that arise to make things visible? Um, that's a little bit of what the song is about. And now I think we probably should Google the word Caro because I'm All feeling right, a let's bit check it out. embarrassed. Um. <laughs> We're going to Google people. Caro. C-A-R-R-O-W. This is your vocab lesson for the day. We're all doing this together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Caro. Just a beautiful word. It's too. a noun. Uh huh. A strolling gamester in Ireland. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. A gamester. Yeah, there's a little bit of like a um, you know, a lottery energy to it. You know, someone that that is willing to roll the dice and willing to uh, um, have a conversation with fate and destiny, mm. and um. I guess that's what this song is about a little bit. It's a conversation with, with, um, with destiny. That's great. Um, it also is an I- itinerant gambler. Itinerant? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Itinerant. And there's just a bunch of words that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm okay with saying I don't know. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, because I'm also keen to find out how to know. Mm. So there's a there's a little bit about me. <laughs> mm. Um okay, so then let's just let's just check in real quick to YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, uh Grace Lutheran Church Corvallis. Oh. Uh-huh. Um that's my yep. Glad you spoke about get out the vote, Erica. Oh. You're saying that was your parents? Uh, I, you know, I don't know exactly who it is, but I, that's the church that I grew up attending. Yeah. So it's it's someone I know and love on the other side of that, I'm Aww. sure. Probably someone that's known me since I was five years old. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> um, Johanna sending you some kisses. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, s- Cinda? 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 C-I-N-D-A? Uh-huh. Um... So lovely, Erica. Oh, Cinda. Really enjoying it. Mm. Um, oh, and then people still talking about how we're back. Because we are. We're still back. It was just a brief little blip. We were barely gone. Yeah. Um, and oh. then your second song is Raw Silver. Yeah. Um, shed a little bit of light into the inspiration um, into Raw Silver. So that song is also on the new album that's coming out um, October 30th, and I'll be slowly releasing it to my patrons on Patreon between the 15th and the 30th. Um, And that song is, you know, it was originally inspired by a friend of mine that has synesthesia. And um, she, um, or they, I think she uses both pronouns, um, uh, they can see colors with people and um, I love that muddying of the senses I think all of our senses are so entwined and absolutely um, so the song is is an exploration of sensuality um, and sexuality um, and also of just possibility when we allow for our senses to be as complex as they are. Uh, I was hearing once of a rock climber that was blind and had this device that he could put on his tongue that he basically was able to taste to see. Mm. Isn't that... That's just insane. That's like... I don't know what to do with that. That blows my mind. I know. I know. I know. It's 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 exactly that thing where yeah. your senses can overlap uh-huh. and overcompensate. Yeah. It's it's amazing. And when we lose one of our senses, you know, the others yeah, the others kick in and show just how powerful 
how powerful we are, you know, yeah. and how much untapped potential when we open up our full 360 degree frameworks of bringing attention to life itself and and all of its juiciness. Mm. <laughs> juiciness. Yeah. Yeah. To bring in another another sense. I don't know. I guess maybe that's in the. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Uh-huh. I'd say so indeed. Yeah. Um. Well. Let's get into it. Let's just like, let's get into some Carol Moon and some raw silver. Here we go. Okay, this song is called Carol Moon. I'm in, begin again, repair the wear in my overcoat of sky, under a carol moon, gambler of hearts and spades, so afraid of dying, what are you so afraid to say? chance I would love you to a gentle swoon Couldn't tell you then so I'm telling you now under this carol
to walk to the edge of the boardwalk. I like to dream off the edge of my dreams. Give me your name and I'll taste you in colors. If you thought it was simple, watch it come out at the sea. That was great. You're great. <laughs> this is a this is a fun time. Thank you so much for having me. This yeah. that was what an absolute magical experience to be able to share that art with you and the crew and now with everybody here. I just uh, it, as a performer, you know, I've, I've felt this missing part of me yes. over these last months, and that's you. You know, that's you and it's everybody um, because, you know, uh, sharing is what what I think feeds us sharing energy of different kinds, sharing our gifts. You know, yes. you, you making this this session and making um, bringing your gifts to to make this possible, you know, everyone, every everyone. Yeah. And it's a collaborative that. effort. You mm -hmm. know, we're all putting forth our time and our energy to make oops that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> that is what i wanted to do um 
we are all putting our time and energy into this thing because it's a huge passion project of ours and it's the only way that we can make live music live again mm. and mm. so what's the tagline again music is essential music is essential yeah it is yeah <laughs> yeah man because like i mean the the thing that i always say is back in the day when we could go to live shows we would for the most part stand in one place mm -hmm. at the show and mm -hmm. take in that show from that perspective mm -hmm. to me that's what a lot of live streams do they just have one camera and the artist mm -hmm. and call it a day which is fine um but the other thing that's from you know the days of yore when we could go is the other senses at play mm -hmm. you know there's the human connection of the person next to you um sense in the air and everything the beer that you're tasting it's all a bundled thing and so what we do here at sessions in place is we create this multi-perspective even perspectives that you wouldn't even get when you would be able to go to live shows like one of the the ones that one of the the camera angles that always pops up in my mind is uh for noia the band that has performed with us twice now um, the jib shot like over top of mm -hmm. all of his gear mm -hmm. and you're seeing just every little button he presses mm -hmm. and there's a lot of buttons <laughs> um, and uh, yeah it's it's basically creating the cinematic approach to it mm -hmm. um, and you know we're lucky enough to have people like Austin Glass mm -hmm. and Ben Strickland with their cinematic background to make that happen it's amazing yeah. yeah thank you so so many talented people it's yeah and every single one of them mm -hmm. it's and it's have a space like fremont abbey yeah to be able to share it that in it's it's definitely a blessing 100 percent um it is the one amazing thing that has come out of COVID. Mm. you know um there's also some other things um uh I, I wanted to tell the person that has won these things because they Venmoed us. Um, Gabriel, you're the winner. I'm going to be messaging you here soon. And uh, maybe I'll uh, come say hi to you sometime soon and give you some goodies. Because you're local. And uh, might as well just say hi from a six-foot distance you know um so i'll be giving that to you you have an extra large shirt you have a download card for what album right back at you right back at you and then two other cds um uh, what else was i gonna say about stuff um w well are there any lingering thoughts questions uh any takeaways from this whole experience mm. um just a lot of gratitude a mm. lot of gratitude for for you for everyone who helped make this possible um uh, for my family who, who tuned in i think you said my my dad was on yeah, uh, my Dave. folks yeah my dad got me my first guitar you know grateful for that hi dave <laughs> <laughs> uh he said he also said this sound of your baritone guitar fits this song Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you come from a musical background of, uh, or does your family? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah no. Um. My, uh, my dad is very much a songwriter. Wow. Both my my folks are very musical. Um. My mom plays the piano, and um. So, uh, you know, I grew up hearing hearing a lot of music around, and then being gifted that as well. You know, um, the gift of piano lessons. Um, mm. The gift of um, just being encouraged to do that it, that that is um, enormous yeah I'll, I'll always be uh, grateful for that grateful for sure for that that's funny because parallel uh, story is that my mom always advocated for me to be playing some instrument mm. like started with piano mm -hmm. and then I think it was stand-up bass and orchestra Mm. And then uh, guitar. Stand-up bass. I did. Ugh. I did that. 
started Great. in uh, junior high as a fr uh, seventh grader, mm -hmm. and then I did it all the way till I graduated from high school. Anyways, respect to the parents that do that because it creates people like this. <laughs> so thank you, parents. <laughs> I appreciate and respect that. Um, so I want to remind you out there again, we have a Venmo. It does exist. You can find us at Sessions in Place. Um, throw us, you know, $5 or whatever you're financially able to. We also have a Patreon. Um, we have three tiers, 5 10 and $20 a month. If you want to become a monthly subscriber, that would be brilliant. We would be eternally thankful and grateful for that. Um, because there's a lot of things that go into making these things happen. Um, you know, for example, the data for making these streams happen, that's a monthly cost. And because we're extremely passionate about this project, we don't, we, we're, <laughs> we're going to do it regardless of your donation, but we also would appreciate and, um, with open arms, whatever <laughs> donations that you're able to provide. Because, um, uh, you know, like we were saying, a lot of people go into making something like this happen. Um, it takes a village. It does take a village. Mm -hmm. And I think the smallest element of a thankfulness that they do is just saying their name online. So um, basically that's how we end every show. And I want to take this opportunity to do that. Um, Sessions in Place is produced by Austin Glass, Ben Strickland, uh, Brent James Driscoll, and myself, Oliver Stelfox. And then um, this was actually directed, the, the videos that you saw tonight were directed by Richard McLean. Um, he has a knack for it that is amazing. He can just like vibe out and know where the song's going without even never hearing the song. That's a gift. It really is. Wow. Um, so thank you, Richard McLean. You're amazing. Um, the jib operator, the big swoopy camera that was able to get above on those lights and like swoop right in as done by Ben Strickland. It's always one of my favorite shots. I, I, I think it's like a staple of Sessions in Place. It's it's a the Sessions in Place camera angle, I guess, to go to. Um, the steady cam. You, you saw this person in some of the shots, actually, because he's kind of getting some of those up-close action shots with maintaining six feet apart, of course. Um, that's Brent James Driscoll. He is an amazing person who was here a little earlier and helped me set up these cameras because we have three here. We have this one right there. We have this one. <laughs> and then, of course, we have that one. Um, and I am thankful for his cameras. Um, I like Blackmagic cameras, and I hope that one day Blackmagic would consider being a sponsor of ours. <laughs> That would be amazing. So I'm putting that into the ether. We've already talked to Manifest them. Manifest that. Manifest yeah. that. <laughs> Brent's already already started that conversation, and I'm hoping something happens out of it. Um, and then uh, additional camera operator, John Higuchi, or Gooch for short. Um, him and John. Gooch. Gooch. Him and John Miller have really been a, a, a big element of, of just really putting the glue between the cracks for us. I, I think like two weeks ago I said they're putting they put the glue in between the pieces of bread and I I don't know what I happened. don't I don't want that sandwich. I don't either. Yeah. Don't don't eat that sandwich people. Um uh Derek Zonto, he is the person who did the lighting um on the session and he was the one who got us the connection with R90, which is our lighting sponsor. And it's a re incredible relationship. And we, I am extremely thankful for their gear and their graciousness and all that. Um, 
the audio was done by myself, Oliver Stelfox, and the behind the scenes photos that you'll be seeing on Tuesday on Instagram were done by Morgan Jones. She's a incredible human. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, I I I really enjoy her a lot. Um, and then social media and PR is done by Carol Faulkner. Shout out to you, Carol. I appreciate you. Um, this was shot on location. The videos were shot on location at Fremont Abbey. We're obviously here in my apartment. Um, like I said, AKA SIP HQ. <laughs> Cause we do video editing here. Um, we do audio editing stuff right there. Um, it's a, a, a fun community that we have started. We have a lot of creative people that have a lot of talent. Um, and just to really hit it home with our sponsors, like I said, R90 with their lighting, amazing people. Um, you need a burger for providing us meals um, and the crew, is crew and talent alike. Um, Guayaki for supplying us the energy that we need to continue making these things happen because <laughs> it is a lot of energy necessary. Um, and then uh, the additional music that you're hearing, actually, you'll hear a little more right now. Ooh. Wow, Jonies. That's done by Tiffany Costello. Sh this part that you're hearing right now actually was done on two weeks ago when we did the round, and she actually was doing live drone music oh, wow. cool. in, in like the mezzanine area that looks down on to oh, the, yeah, it was sweet. so cool. Um, we're going to have her again on Halloween because we are doing uh, the round on Halloween as well. Nice, um, nice. Just a little glimpse of a flavor town that uh, I'll let you, the audience, know. We are going to have... Oh, maybe, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't say it. Oh, you want to, though. I do want to. <laughs> but I haven't got 100% confirmation. So... Uh, basically, I'm wanting some fire fun. So oh, I'll goodness. Okay, pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics, maybe. but outside. Maybe. It would it would be outside. Possibly. So don't worry. Allegedly. About yeah. yeah. Um, we're also talking about a different location than the Abbey, but it's all in the family, Ballard Homestead. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have yet to do something there, so it'd be a, a fun opportunity to try something new. Um, and then. Next week, we are back at the Abbey. Um, we are going to have Paige Turner for the third time because she's got a new album that she's working on, and we love her, so we want to have her on again. Um, and I know that she is Austin's favorite, and so to appease Austin, got to have her on again. And obviously, the whole crew loves her as well. Um, because, like I said, we've had her on three times. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she is a freaking god. And then uh, th she announced this this week that she um, was on The Voice. Oh. And she is going back to L.A. on uh, uh, mid-November to uh, c uh, finish that endeavor. Um, but in the promo video of it, you see her on it. So that's saying something. Anywho, um, any final thoughts? Any words of wisdom? Any? Uh, Thanks for being here. You know, vote in November and be well. <laughs> take care of each other. <laughs> take care of each other. Yeah. We really appreciate you all. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks for viewing. Thanks for staying tuned, even with the hiccups that we had. Um, you know, sometimes it happens, but. We don't, um, we, 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 we watch for the positives and not dwell on the negatives. Am I right? Amen. 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 Preach. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to now queue up the bye-bye slides. <laughs> so <laughs> good night. Good night.